I'm loving and I'm half-ass ready. So, been thinking about this for a little while. What does self-sufficient mean? To me, it means being able to take care of your own personal needs without banking on anybody else to come help you, right? Now, what does that mean in this day and age? How prepared do you need to be? You know, FEMA tells us we need three days food, water, warmth, shelter. I don't think three days is enough. So that's not truly being self-sufficient. So I guess it's kind of why I'm a, I'm a prepper. Because I don't think three days is enough. And then the more I got to thinking about it and looking at the things that are going on today, how long it takes the government to respond to things, how long it takes anybody, Red Cross, Hearts with Hands, any of those guys to respond, three days is not enough. But then I got to thinking, I've pretty much always been self-sufficient my whole life. You know, I've been a prepper since I was a kid, didn't know it. My mom was a prepper. She don't know it. You know, we've always canned food and, and put stuff up for hard times and put stuff up when weather prevented us from getting to the grocery store. So, just want to start this whole deal out with me and this thing I'm trying to do here with talking about being self-sufficient. I, I want to be self-sufficient. I want to be self-sufficient so that I'm not placing a burden on the guys that are out there trying to help people who really need help, right? So if it's a natural disaster, I mean, I understand we're prepping for whatever you're prepping for, right? You're, whatever it is that's on your mind that is causing you to be a prepper or causing you to think about becoming a prepper, you know, whether it's a zombie apocalypse, a coronal mass ejection, a social unrest. Hell, it could be a hurricane. It could be a tornado coming through your town, preventing you from getting where you need to be and the supplies you need to survive and take care of your family for more than three days. I mean, we've seen on TV, it's taken three weeks, three months. Look at the situation in Puerto Rico. They still aren't back to the normal back down there, right? After a hurricane, a natural disaster, and all the help that's gone down there, right? So, I don't want to be a burden to the guys out there trying to help people, and I want to be able to take care of my family. And that's what self-sufficient means to me. And that's kind of how I want to start this thing of talking about self-sufficiency. Because if you're looking at me and listening to me right now, you, you've probably got an interest in me and self-sufficient yourself. So, you know, let's, uh, let's go there. And, you know, again, three days is not enough. I, I, three days is not enough. And when, you know, when you think about three days, you got to be thinking about three days or three weeks or whatever you decide is enough. That's why I call this half-ass ready. I, I, I never think I've got enough, right? If I think I'm covered out for a month, well, man, I, I probably ought to try for another month. And then, then probably I ought to try for half a month, half a year. Then maybe I ought to try for a year. So <clears throat> three days is not enough. Uh, but three days for you and every person, animal, is going to be in your home. That's going to fall under your umbrella of protection, right? Your umbrella of responsibility. And you need to think about that. Who is under your umbrella of possibilities, right? Who, who, who's, who's under that umbrella with you? And, and take care of your animals too, folks. I mean, you know, think about your animals. They're, uh, they're part of our families. I know I love mine. And, uh, but think about your animals. And uh, forgive me for bending over, but I made a few notes. And I left them down there where I could get to them. So... It's all about getting ready. I, you think about it, we all think about it. We all plan on it, we, we do research, we figure out what we need. Well, it's time to get started, okay? You, you don't have to start big, and I'm not telling you to start big. And, and, and as I go on 
with more channels, more or more episodes on this channel, we'll talk about what we're doing to get it ready. You know, we'll talk about we'll talk about whatever y'all want to talk about, but we're we're going to talk about what I'm doing to get ready. And uh, man, if I ain't doing it right, let me know. And uh, and if I tell you something that's going to help you later on down the line, man, this is exactly why I started this. So. Looking forward to talking to y'all a little more in depth and getting into uh, a narrow subject. Uh, I, I get a little, I, I tend to go on tangents. So, uh, but going to sign off with this episode. This is just my introduction to y'all, and, and uh, hopefully we can get this thing going and and, and help each other uh, get ready for whatever it is we're getting ready for, right? So, uh, this muffin signing off. Tell the ones you love them, you love them, and, uh, and let's get whole ass ready. Thanks.